All film is a piece of history. It tells a story. If it's a personal story or family story, it doesn't really matter. It always shows something of some interest to somebody. The Sandman stands out because it was made during the golden age of British animation. It influenced an awful lot of filmmakers present at the time. So when Ian McKinnon approached us uh, to remaster The Sandman in 4K, we were really, really excited about it. The Sandman was pretty much a labour of love. We set out to just create an exercise, which was to try and produce a 10-minute film that didn't require any, any dialogue and was true to the original folklore. About a year ago, a film print was screened at the Manchester Animation Festival and I wanted to crawl under my seat. The picture quality and the sound quality looked so dreadful. We're really grateful David Sproxton from Ardman, who was there watching it, which made it even worse. <laughs> he suggested that we uh, get in touch with New Light and talk about the process of restoration. First of all, I have to uh, inspect the film before the transfer. We are particularly interested in looking for any perf damage or uneven old splices which could affect uh, the stability during the transfer. Next, the film gets ultrasonically cleaned to remove any hair and dirt which have accumulated over time. After the film has been uh, inspected and cleaned, the film is ready to be scanned. The most important thing during scanning is to get maximum light to the film. We tend to scan the film either real time or a lot slower, like half a frame per second potentially, which means we get a, a higher dynamic range of the film. What really struck me when I saw the images for the first time was the detail of the hair, the clothing and the vibrant colours, which I didn't really expect. We re-edit the film together. At the same time, sound is captured and restored. So restored sound does enhance a film for the viewer, I think. Sound is very important because people are much less forgiving of bad sound than they are bad picture. If there's a problem with the sound, it'll generally jolt you out of the moment. It breaks your suspension of disbelief. So making sure the sound is as good as it can be uh, is very, very important, I think. You're never going to make restored sound sound modern, and nor should you. You've got to stay true to the original medium. During manual restoration, we fix um, any issues which haven't been fixed during the auto restoration. So we're stepping through frame by frame um, to see something out of the ordinary, such as scratches, hairs, glue joints or anything else. When digital restoration is completed, the final step is colour grading. We're going to be grading in a wide colour gamut. This is going to enable us to produce colours that just weren't possible in the days of video 25 years ago. That extra detail will enable the viewer to really focus on certain aspects of the set and the puppetry and the, and the textures of the clothes, and it'll just make a more immersive viewing experience. I think people are just beginning to realise that improvements in both scanning, grading and restoration technology means it's a very exciting time, especially if you're doing these historic projects, because you can bring them back to life in a way which hasn't been possible before. It's always a challenge to remaster a 16 mil film. But the real payoff is at the end when you see the film for the first time on the big screen. We're amazed, actually, to see the quality that they managed to pull out of the original negative. You can see some of the, the original textures that we, we've lost over the years and the colour that was there. 
the whole idea now that you can take film and digitally restore it and bring it back to its original state, I think is magical because there's some wonderful pieces that need to be seen. And if they're left to rot or if an audience can't see them with the original quality, then they will get forgotten. Film restoration is definitely on the app. And everybody has a story to tell. Through scanning and restoration, we preserve human history. I think now people realize that there are really interesting human stories on film and they can be watched again. <laughs>